listen to that noise. Before the age of 24, one in seven youth in New Zealand will experience a major depressive disorder. About half of these disorders begin before the age of 14. And by age 16, 15% of youth will have either attempted suicide or thought seriously about doing so. Eating disorders are also very widespread, with anorexia being the third most common chronic illness in the developed world, after obesity and asthma. These figures only touch on the alarming prevalence of mental health issues among youth, many of whom suffer silently. But what's the story with that noise? Globally, every year, 804,000 people commit suicide. Of those 804,000, approximately 13% are youth. For every death, there is an estimated to be 25 suicide attempts, meaning that roughly one young person attempts suicide every 12 seconds. We need change. But do you feel like we, as youth, can have an impact in addressing our serious mental health issues? As youth, we are particularly vulnerable to mental health issues because of the stage we're at in life. We're transitioning from children to adults, questioning and discovering who we are. We have academic, social and life pressures to deal with, as well as our bodies physically changing, causing chemical turmoil inside our bodies and brains. But this does not mean that we as youth are helpless or have no power to combat this. Youth are brilliant human beings with a level of creativity, passion and insight that is unmatched. I believe that there are three main reasons why combining youth drive and youth voice with the skills and knowledge of mental health professionals will enable us to come up with innovative plans and solutions to address our serious mental health issues. The first reason is that youth have a unique level of insight from being at the epicenter of youth issues. So as youth, we're like spies on the inside. We know what the biggest problems are, what is affecting our peers the most, and we recognize gaps in the mental health support system. Our insight enables us to come up with effective ideas and plans that will work for the people around us. Shockingly, in 2011, New Zealand had the second highest male and female youth suicide rate in the OECD. My friends and I were very concerned about how many people we knew were suffering, and we wanted to do something to support our peers. So in my year 12, we brainstormed ideas and came up with a program we thought would work in our school, which we proposed to our dean and the senior management team. Our main goal with our program was to change the attitude towards mental health. We wanted people to feel supported. We wanted people to know that they're not alone. And we called this program Support Sisters, or SUPSIS for short. Secondly, pairing trained professionals with youth enables peer-to-peer -peer support and empowerment through our relatability. As youth, we are directly involved in the same environment and context as other youth. And we are the target group for these initiatives. Our, our shared experiences and relatability mean that we, they give us a deeper understanding of what our peers may be going through and make us easier to approach for help. By supporting our peers, we empower ourselves as, as well as other people around us through sharing our stories and tools we use to get through. SUPSIS was specifically designed as a peer-to-peer -peer support system created to tap into these relatively untouched resources of shared experience and relatability. It was an agony aunt system where mostly younger students would write into a committee of senior students working with the school social workers and counsellors about issues they were having. The committee would then respond, drawing from our own personal experiences we had had not too long ago, which was a unique point of difference to any other program in our school. We thought that pairing professional advice as well as our personal experiences would provide our peers with relevant, effective advice, as well as let our peers know that they are definitely not alone in what they are going through and what they are experiencing can pass. 
Thirdly, the passion of youth gives us the ability to create large-scale change. Youth are passionate people who feel things incredibly deeply. If we are involved in a mental health initiative, it is usually because we have experienced mental health issues ourselves, or we have seen someone else close to us experience them. This makes us push really hard to make our programs work and to reach our goals. This passion also means that even if a specific initiative doesn't go exactly how we planned, we are still generating change and having an impact on those around us, making us successful in other ways. In my year 13, we were given the role of Menaki leaders to implement this program and to make the school a welcoming and safe place for all students. However, we faced quite a few obstacles which were beyond our control in implementing SUPSIS, which meant it didn't get up and running by the end of my year 13. But this doesn't mean our time was wasted. Our main goal with our program and the Menaki role was to change the culture towards mental health. We wanted people to feel supported, we wanted mental health to be less stigmatized, and we wanted people to feel as if they were not alone. We were constantly talking about issues and spreading awareness at our school, spreading awareness of how people could look after their own well-being as well as, that, as the, the well-being of those around them. Our aim was to empower our community and to change the attitude towards mental health where we could. So even if an idea or program doesn't get up and running in the way which you planned, by persevering with the idea and by continuing to be passionate about the issue, you will still create change and have an impact on those around you. So as youth, we are particularly vulnerable to mental health problems because of the stage we're at in life. But youth are brilliant human beings who can take these experiences and come up with effective and innovative ideas which support and empower the people around us. So, do you feel like youth can have an impact in addressing our serious mental health issues? We can. Thank you. <laughs>